back everyone, she Kai Hakon here reporting for the review. So today we have two items to review and well well I'm still not done with my wheel review which gonna come sooner or later depending on how I feel like want to play uh, racing games for the wheel, you know? So right now I'm I already get another product that I buy which came from the bundle provided by Armageddon during a flash sale yes I bought this with a discount price at the time so <laughs> yeah that's nice so we have a bundle of mouse and keyboard because I feel like I need to replace my keyboard because well there are there aren't any other software that could help it especially to turn off the rgb which well i mean don't get me wrong i i, I don't hate rgb but it's kind of annoying when you're trying to concentrate on playing your game sometimes well yes i know it's an unpopular opinion but still oops okay i think i touched the stand here and hello so let's start with the mouse first. This is the Textron Scorpion 7. 5 button, 2 way click scroll RGB mouse. Well, it's also RGB, but probably can be turned off, hopefully. It says also give me the pre mouse mat included. Nice. Also, it's uh, a scorpion there. Which is always a thumbs up from me because I like Scorpion. As long as I don't try to attack me or the real thing appeared in my room for some reason, which is kind of impossible because my place doesn't really support Scorpion. And it has 16.8 million color programmable RGB likes, and I'm going to choose black because I'm going to turn it off <laughs> if possible. And it claims as the ultimate gaming mouse. I mean, sure, why not? Uh, what else here? The cool things here is that it shows there are some. Uh, okay, my not my mask is just touching the stand again. Uh, the buttons with lettering, which kind of nice that they integrated with the design. Most mouse that's a cheaper one just put a random designs. This one is actually put there put some thought on it and it's looking pretty good I really like it also if you don't remember what Armageddon is it's basically my PC case that I buy back then they provide PC case as well okay what else here the other feature is it has 4800 CPI that's cool I guess even though I usually just use the default one and who I know World's most durable, 5 million click switches, okay, and macroable. Macros on 5 buttons plus 2 way click scroll. So it has a 2 way click scroll, which I never have, so I want to see that. But macro, uh, I don't really use it to be honest. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, we have some specification on the rear here. The, this is the rear box here, if you can see it. So it has some features, come on, we'll focus, yeah, right? World's most durable Huano 5 million click switches, macroable, uh -huh, that's we already see. High performance tracking speed up to 160 inches per second. 1.8 meters ultra durable cable, oh, okay. Extra set of Teflon foot pads included. And software for light and macro customizations downloadable from website. I hope they actually have that because my keyboards that I'm I've been using the Game Titan is well it doesn't have one so yeah it's kind of annoying so let's uh, unbox this one first uh, let's see how do I unbox it ah, okay apparently it doesn't stick <laughs> oh well it's fine I guess I mean this box is kind of damaged but I I hope this is damaged because of the transport and hopefully nothing's broken inside. Well, all I can do is hoping. So we already see some USB cable here. 
Ooh, that's nice. I mean, sure, it's not wireless, but I'm not a fan of wireless setup anyway, so yeah. Let's push it out, maybe. Oh well. Uh, okay, there we go. Oops. A bit messy. <laughs> I just pulled it off and it just fell off. So apparently it's supposed to position like this, you know? But I just pulled it off and it doesn't have a rear support for that. <laughs> That's kind of a stupid thing to do, to be honest. I mean, sure, you're just going to uh, get it out and we have the user manual here and there is something else that's dropped down there I'm going to take it real quick let's see what is this mm, seems like a sticker but oh wait this is the path that telling us for the okay this is the path for this and this ooh it clicks so nice Okay, two way, which one is to the right, and one is that, oh, yeah, well that's gonna be interesting, this is the DPI setup I guess, this is the back and forward button, pretty decent, and it felt really nice on the hand, so far, let me test it out, oh yeah, I think I can like this a bit more. I mean, my razor is broken, so well, it's not really broken. It's just some malfunction. I'm pretty sure it can be fixed, but yeah, I'm going to sell it anyway. So also we have this. Like, keep, oh my god, oh that's cool. The Armageddon logo is there. Text one Scorpion Seven. No, it's just text one Scorpion on the uh, mouse pad here. Ooh, this is nice addition. I really like this. Definitely going to use this since my old mouse pad is so old. And we have the user manual here, which shows us the a bunch of instructions, features, and the programs that you can use. So let's see. Home base for the software guide. Okay, this is the software guide as you can see there. Maybe I'll show you later. Yeah, I think I'm going to show you later for this stuff so we can see how it works. And also pointer precisions. Oh, they have a lot of stuff here and you can reset it if you think there is something wrong with it. And bring your Scorpion 7 gaming profiles with you. Okay, so you can share the scripts if you need to go out. This is a good mouse, I think. There is some potential to, you know, compete against the, some of the high-end mouse out there like Logitech and Razer. And this is a good one, I think. I think. I still, I haven't tried it yet, so we don't know that yet. So let's see. The next thing that I'm going to unbox here is the AK300X Kalashnikov. Man, this game has some obsession with gun manufacturers for some reason. <laughs> and also it claims it's us the ultimate gaming keyboard. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> so let's see, we have the features here. Uh, gaming keyboard with spill-proof design. Ooh, that's nice, I guess. Even though I rarely bring my drinks to the table. Full-size three-segment keyboard with 114 keys in total, driver-free installation, and cable length is 1.4 meters, so the mouse is a bit longer. Yeah, it's fine though, you don't really move much. So there is the keyboard. As you can see, it seems like it doesn't have any RGB. Good! That's good, because the RGB on keyboard is too strong, well, at least on my keyboard right now. And we have some extra buttons there. It's called the shortcut keys. I haven't seen that clearly yet. I will see what it is soon. So what? The, what else? Nothing really. Ah, ow. 
sorry about that. Also, I forgot to show you the but, but the lower side of this. The package includes Armageddon AK 300X gaming keyboard and the system requirements. Do you have anything else here? Oh, this is the big pictures. It's kind of glossy though. Multimedia gaming keyboard, gaming style keyboard with 10 shortcut buttons for fast access to multimedia controls. Silent and tactile, silent and tactile try typing feedback, no drivers required, spill proof design. Yeah, still, it's basically saying whatever it says on the front. So let's try to open it up. Uh, where is it? Okay, this is the part here. This is kind of banged up, so I hope nothing's wrong with the keyboard though. Oh, let's see. And I put open it upside down. Damn it. <laughs> Let's flip it up. So apparently this is the upside. I thought that was the upside, but no, this is the upside. There we go. <laughs> okay. Looks pretty big. And it's just the keyboard and that's it. Yeah, it's just the keyboard, guys. Well, uh, so at least I know the bank up side is the bottom size, so nothing's happen on the bottom hopefully yeah seems pretty good no cracks whatsoever thank god it's not broken let's yep remove that oh yeah finally i can play in peace because my other keyboards as you can hear I hope you can hear it, but usually it, it got caught on my microphone. This one won't be as loud as that. And the buttons felt really nice too. So we have this. Well, this is pretty standard to be honest. For an additional leaf. There is a lot of stuff down here. Like, th those are holes. Huh. When they say that anti-spill, they mean that there, there is some drainage for the keyboard. That's cool. So what do we have here? We have music. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, it doesn't really want to see. Okay, there we go. That's music. Rewind. Uh, volume. Uh, previous and next button what else here fast forward and rewind actually so mail search and home these have a pretty good setup for additional button because as you know I record some stuff so this will be really useful to turn it turn on and off and this is just decoration see it seems yeah, it seems like it's just a decoration. I mean, they could put some lighting here, but at least, thank God it's not. <laughs> because there are some um, subtle patterns, if you can see it there. Oh God, reflection, but if you can see some lines here, here and there, that's not scratches, that's just part of the pattern actually, which is pretty cool. And also the spacebar also written as the ultimate gaming gear. Yes. So basically this is the ultimate gaming peripheral for you. And the oh yeah. This is looks pretty clean actually. I really like it. So far so good, but you know what? Let's test it out on the computer and see what it can do. Alright, so we are on my desktop right now and here we are with the program that's available through the website. The website on the instruction manual doesn't exist anymore because apparently Armageddon is merged with other company and they have a different domain now so that's a thing and well, well that's one thing for sure, and the other thing is that the keyboard doesn't come with 
any additional software so you can't really set it out it's just a bare bone just keyboard with fancy modeling well but maybe because this is the base mode the, the entry level for their products you know but it's not that expensive in the first place so yeah you can just skip and oh okay i almost forgot i turned off my camera there there we go hello and as you can see here you have the base setting advanced settings and led settings and well for each for each setting you can have up to five type of profile here and you can export and import your CFG for your macro and of course you can reset it if you don't really use it so what do we have here so let's start with the base setting first we have the wheel function that we can change between scroll and volume if you really need to but since I already have my keyboard I don't really need the change need to change the volume manually well with the scroll wheel because the keyboard has that function uh, what else you can set uh, force the next key to click I haven't really tried this because I usually use the setting from came from the factory most of the time but also you really need this software here the driver because if you don't have it the mouse well it still can function as a basic mouse with DPI settings but every time you start your computer or laptops or just replugging the mouse you really need to set it up again to a certain dpi that you already chose because apparently the mouse doesn't save the dps settings unlike my other mouse back in the past which is kind of weird <laughs> and well this is basically where you can set your macro and stuff in the basic form and this is for the next key to click okay oh so it's basically just choose the button after the left button is pressed the next button will be the one that's set up here of course we have mid button mid button can be done with the side click and pressing it normally yeah it, it's a two-way button as it says on the mouse like so and also you can set the macro here the basic macro at the very least but i haven't really tried so yeah also you can use it as a shortcut if you really love copy and pasting you can just press this and well make it make the forward button for copy and back button for paste which is interesting because that will make things a lot easier <laughs> in a way and of course we can set the button as well for the dpi loop so this basically disable the dpi choice if you really want to and you can just choose with this anyway and speaking of that we have uh, one two three four five six settings for the dpi uh, ranging from 600 to 4800 and i believe yep you can set it up as you wish so if you want this to be the highest one you can do that or this you know or you just want to be as low as 200 D dpi so you can have up to six profile and you can change the color if you want to so for example if i change the dpi to the next one which is yellow colored in here the rgb also change as you can see there but this does not come from the basic when well the way that it came from the factory because i already set it up on the led settings which i'll show you later and if you continue from dpi we can Continue with the white light here, which indicate that it's the highest TPI currently. We can go back to the green one, which is the lowest one. Obviously, you won't move much, you know, with this. Also, uh, yeah, this was 600. Um, and so on and so forth, as you can see there. And of course, red is my favorite color, so I chose red. And well, surprisingly for an RGB mouse, it's not really this... This, well distracting for my eyes so that's always a good thing 
because most RGB that I well not really RGB basically like that mouse and keyboard they are really distracting and really annoying so for example my older keyboard the KM06S that one has a, a blinding caps lock num lock and scroll lock likes which is bloody annoying for my eyes and it's in blue it's even more annoying and of course we can save each uh you know it's set up of course i use the cfg one because it's mine and well okay uh give me a second <laughs> so apparently if i press cancel it will close it immediately oh well <laughs> So continuing to the advanced settings, which is basically how you fine tune your mouse here. You can have the pointer precision, wheel speed, report rate. I believe the pointer precision and wheel speed is basically following the one that you have already set up in the computer. So this is just making things a bit more simplified. The report rate, uh, I don't know what it is, it is, but I think it's the amount of uh reporting of the position so it spreads more or less with this i think because yeah that doesn't really precise this one is very precise i'm going to use that and of course we have the led settings okay i'm going to turn this all on because it's not really going to you know affect things here so as you can see if currently i have a static so obviously static is going to show you what DPI settings in the early in the base setting window. But if I choose the fixed one, which is changing in four seconds. Oh, come on. Aren't you going to change? No. Okay. Apparently not. Let's try apply it first. So static will use the same one color but it will just uh, blinking in my case it's one second so it looks like an exploding bomb right now <laughs> uh, not really but and of course we have cyclic which this is kind of try to emulate how the color change from each color that we have here and you can only turn it on and off on this one so yeah so if I apply it, it will... Okay, come on. And there we go, it's now changing. As you can see there. It, on each second, it will change it to the next color. But that one is the, the one that came from the factory and I don't really like it. So of course I use the static. Because the static one is nice. Okay, so I believe that's all to cover for the program. I mean, you can choose the Chinese language if you want to. I mean, if you're a Chinese, I think it is a Chin. Yeah, it's it's a Chinese letter on this one, not Japanese. So you can choose that. It will just simply replace all the English with the Chinese. But yeah, that's the only thing that you you know you need to know about the program it's really simple it's really straightforward very intuitive to use well not really intuitive because i still haven't figured out how to use the macro right now that's the only thing that i'm kind of want to try later but for now it just works as is as it is so you know what let's jump into a gameplay with, with uh well just jump into a gameplay right after this so i can show you how i feel of this mouse even though i already use it for a while not really a while just a few hours already but still need some things to get used to here and there but it's not a big problem so yeah let's go all right we are currently in the game testing out the keyboard and mouse this is the third take actually because the footage is corrupted here right now that's a miss no 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 but double 
kill. Multi kill. Okay, I click a bit too fast there. But well, it's kind of nice to use, to be honest. Double kill. Wow. Um, okay, where's the other guy? Multi kill. Ultra kill. And well, it's pretty really nice to use. Double kill. And very responsive. Multi kill. I have to be careful with the Ultra kill. Unbreakable. Okay, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how quiet the uh, keyboard is compared to my uh, game titan one. Double kill! Yeah, I that. Multi kill! Not lateral, but uh, sure. Fire in the hole! Oh, that's really not here. But yeah, I don't have to use much movement here and there. And I forgot I have to switch the manual I throw a grenade, damn it. Ah! And I did to a 9A91, of course. Ah, oh, that's look nice. Double kill! Multi kill! But yeah. Not bad really. Ooh. Kill! Multi kill! Ultra kill! It's nice. So, don't have to move too much with the mouse button, damage, too much kill. explosion here and there. And yeah, Multi -kill. I'll look to the footage after this. And Double kill! And yeah, I know that's quite an amateur move, but <laughs> it works against the bot right now. One more. Double kill! That's really loud here. But yeah, it's really nice to move with the mouse and the keyboard is really responsive. Don't need to press too much despite the fact that it's not a mechanical keyboard, which is actually really high good quality. To be Don't need to worry too much about it. So yeah, I'll look on the footage after this. Alright, after taking a look on the footage here, as you can see right here, that I just, you know, watch it a bit, I come to the conclusion that this keyboard is really quiet. I really like it. And despite the fact that it's not a mechanical keyboard, it's really responsive I and I can do a quick switch really fast. I mean, when I play, it doesn't feel as fast, but when I do look at the footage, my god, that's really fast. I didn't expect that. Also, as you can see on the footage right here, it's, uh, my input overlay doesn't work, so that's annoying, but as you can see, it's really, it's really fast and it's kind of it even make the script a bit janky here for some reason as you can see there i mean look i just moved to the right and it's probably go gonna fast life at this point <laughs> uh yeah it's it's a bit janky but it works i mean all the keyboard shortcut is working as well as you can see there well let's shortcut the buttons and yeah overall for a chip keyboard and mouse that I bought in a bundle, it's bloody good for FPS games. I really like it. I mean, yes, I know I played on easy mode at that, but, but it's just a demonstration as how nice to use the keyboard is. But things that I kind of notice sometimes is, one, if the game is actually a game, let me show you real quick here. They will switch from your default profile that you already choose, like the CFG1 for example, they will choose the game profile. Which is, well, if you don't set it up the same as CFG1, in my case, it will throw me a little bit. But if you already set it up, it's not a big problem. You just uh, set it up with this. Also, if you 
open a music browser I believe it will also do this will change to the media so chances are uh, just in case <laughs> yeah just in case I don't want to deal with that for now <laughs> in case I start a music player when I'm editing and stuff like that so yeah just set it up as you need and well what else not much really but overall I have a very good experience with this mouse and keyboard and well this is also gonna be used as my main from now on because I already intend to change my old keyboard even though it's still uh, doing really well but you know it's just that part of the keyboard that just I don't really like which is the like it's just glowing into my eyes I, I'm talking about my older keyboards on that one but yeah also the it, I may want to show you but the shortcut on the keyboard is actually working where is the play button again here it is see let's play let's pause as well you can press next and forward I can even open the mail system even though I don't have any mail set up on this one because I just use uh, Google Chrome anyway for email it's much easier with that one maybe I'll set up in the future I don't know and home button is actually a home for your Google Chrome uh, what else I forgot <laughs> it's kind of hard to see all of up and down is also working as you can see there that's down that's up music button is obviously working because it will open the music like so and yes this is my collection for my computer I'm not going to use that online and I can press search button as well to open up any search on the current that you're using and on this case it's the Cortana which I don't use much okay I accidentally pressed that again and of course I can press back and forth well fast forward and uh, rewind it rewind for 30 seconds on this case but everything is working and it does really well and also yeah as you can see there since I opened the video it's just set up to that or maybe because I don't use the file for this it, it takes a while yeah actually if you press the apply it will apply it uh, that's a good thing yeah that's a good thing okay I guess in conclusion, if you like gaming, while not don't want to spend too much, the Evergreen setup like here, which I use, which is the Scorpion Seven and the Textron Scorpion Seven and the AK Nine, well not Nine, AK Three Hundred X Kalashnikov, works pretty well and it's pretty silent even and and despite the fact that it's not mechanical, it's really responsive as you can see there. So if you want some ga budget gaming setup, this works. And you can set the macro as well on the mouse even though I still haven't figured out how. It's my problem, alright. <laughs> you can, I'm pretty sure if you already know how to set up your macro it will be fine. But the cons is sometimes the profile kind of janky because on the earlier where I played Crossfire it's actually switched to the game mode. So I, it, when it's not working, but when it works, I mean, not when it works, but when I already set it up properly, yeah, it's fine. Just make sure you set it this to at the very least, and maybe this as well, just in case something you don't like gonna hit you, you know. It will be disastrous for your gaming experience if you don't set it, set that out, and yeah. Overall, it's, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, well, sure, 
sure thing is there there aren't a lot of RGB if you're into that, but hey, the mouse has it, you know. The keyboard doesn't, but the mouse have and the cons, not the cons. The mouse is quite big for my hand, even even though my hand is quite big as well. But I already used too much of a smaller mouse in my past, so sometimes when I try to scroll, when I'm just uh, strolling around the internet, I accidentally press the DPI button. So it's kind of annoying because suddenly you come, you go from this, and then you got suddenly to this. That's a quite the jump, but even though it's not that affecting, but it's kind of you know, and I I mean it's even worse if you if I accidentally press twice because that's kind of my habit because if I press it once it will go to this, which is too much, and then if I accidentally from the DPI number five to number number one, it will be really slow. This is using the same movement of my hand. I don't even do the uh, different movement i'm just trying to do around the same circle and as you can see there you can see how big the increment is on the screen if you see the mouse but yeah overall i really like it and it's very silent as well compared to my game titan cam 06 s yes i'm still looking at the box that i put there <laughs> but yeah it's bloody good.